Good. Part one is automation. Eight supporters of wage hike encourage replacement of human labor with robots and well, cause robot revolution. That's really well sporting. We are uh, long the first robot revolution from toys to uh, George delivery robots are propping up everywhere. At the wage to robots outperform humans a fifteen dollar uh, minimum wage will make fewer possible employable replacement viable as nation uh, after nation goes robotic mills and minimum wage workers will uh, find themselves unemployable. Countries that refuse will simply uh, decline. And a wage hike makes uh, jobs susceptible to future automation. That's far as in fourteen Obama's proposed increase in wage can make employers adapt to emerging technology innovation use of uh, near minimum wage are susceptible to automation. They uh, measure whether such jobs have been computerized included are the occupations that uh, employ a large share of workforce. There will be huge implications for the United States labor force. They uh, then calculate the probability such work would be computerized for the jobs in which at least 25% of the workers earn below $10. The probability is 82%. And part two is socialism. Automation leads to caps long term and appears to prove that war still uh, in turn with the mechanization of agriculture. Uh, now almost everyone lost their jobs. That drove their food prices down so much that nearly all farmers went bust. Uh, far from the robotic failure, meaning that caps is probably going to bankrupt most of them. Robots will make capital more productive. Uh, uh, rights and supply go down the price. Robots taking jobs means that we will get more and everything gets much cheaper. True communism will uh, arrive in automation, high productivity, or prerequisite to post scarcity. Communism, what Marx agreed, that's war still. And 14 Marx said robotic economy would make enable true communism new. Uh, jobs does not matter. I think this does not be an addition to communal wealth and that we get the share of the species. This richer by structuring the jobs of wealth lowered by consumerism, economizing the labor. We have uh, freed up the labor and freeing the entire space from the working food minerals or anything else. How can we end up with the shortage? Marx pointed out the abundance was a precondition for communism, not that communism would have provided that abundance. Socialism was a uh, planet economy that would make the abundance, but the robot of economy would intend a post scarcity one. And robots destroy capitalism in the long term by eliminating the surplus value. That's Lorna and oh, now without surplus, capitalism cannot serve uh, by the value of every commodity is determined by which amount of labor the uh, value almost paid which is work is surplus value, which is created by labor, but is stolen by the capitalist as a source of profit labor. Uh, in the constant battle against capitalism, every list of to lower wages, but uh, living wage as a consequence of competition, capitalist drives down the road cost production to uh, uh, increase profits. Robots would work efficiently than others, and thus a source of surplus value is eliminated when workers are unable to buy the capitalist and unable to realize the profit. The overall uh, impact of new technology is to drive profit down to zero, zero uh, rate of profit and zero vacuum and labor mark the end of the capitalist system. Part three is the role developed. The role developed both simply to best the debater that best uh, deconstructs and reconfigures capitalism. Rejecting capitalism is an epistemic prerequisite. That's Marcus in 64. Industrial civilization imposed economic political requirements on the intellectual culture pieces. I no longer define traditional terms of economic because uh, liberties because new models can be indicated only. And the negation of prevailing models of economic freedom would mean freedom from the economy. The most effective warfare against liberation is implanting material and intellectual needs that perpetuate obsolete forms of struggle for existence. Human needs have uh, been preconditioned and joined further destroying depends upon the desirability for the social institutions. Human needs are falsely and perpetuate toward aggressiveness, misery, and the and just as the result then is that you find unhappiness, any consciousness with us not accept these social interests as uh, laws of all as a fact to be questioned in uh, terms of the truth and the falsehood. And capitalism pollutes ethics by reducing decision making to economic calculation. That's more true to 98. The uh, word of the disposal of capital is done more damage to the ethical life than anything else. Under capitalism, everything becomes an object and resource for markets and the money. Uh, not to stream clean air. Uh, human lives all mean nothing to themselves but are only valuable in terms of profit. Capital profits from the production of the necessities. If we care uh, about life, we do not want these things to be directed ethical considerations for life. Being people's not in aim of food industry, ethics is left out of the deliberation about what the institutions of society are going to do only when the end of capitalism is on the table. Well, ethics will obviously at the table, and capitalism will cause a sanction for climate change. So it's far in 13 in the 21st century so far, 925 billion have your world's five uh, richest income greater than four is 460 million people. A planet on the verge of the one planet built in ice caps, extreme weather is a ticking time bomb. Generations will uh, pale in comparison to world wars, genocide, Yugoslavia, Rwanda, deferred Haiti. The time has come to wake up. We do not enjoy the luxury of incremental changes. We are, are in the last decade where we want to do something. Once we move higher than two degrees Celsius, projected to occur by 2050, the cause of the effect mechanisms will check in, and we'll be at the point of no return. We need to start thinking very differently right now because of the disastrous paranoia uh, capitalism. A few adjustments are not enough to solve the problem. Adaptability modifications and displacement cause through the various and tell them neoliberal options are ineffective. They uh, lead us down one path through the golden gates of capitalist haven and specifically climate change uh, disproportionately impacts those who are most vulnerable. That's Rousseau and Patterson and 13. Climate change has impacts and it's those who face some types of costs and sex of long growth in front of environmental health wealth only in the United States. There is no different when it comes to climate change which has been produced by globally stratified because it would be impactful. Uh, they will disproportionately all those impacts like good systems have for the adverse cross relations that are already poor uh, and the coercive arms pollution ability of toxic nuclear waste and the rapid erosion of biodiversity, and you have an ethical a priori obligation to reject capitalism because it biases people in ethical considerations. The uh, necessary victims become anonymous. That's you, Jake, and Delano, for our uh, ethical response is to confront uh, Hunt Fox and the subsidy anonymization of those who threatening to world capitalism. Attempts uh, to maximize percent outcomes as if they were sound judgment in neutral marketplace. The uh, human cost terms inherent go poverty and purity life chance cannot be calculated within the existing economic rationale and social excuse specified in the nameless card. Four is the affirmation. Thus, I affirm the resolution as a starting point for reconfiguring capitalism. Vote affirmative to prioritize uh, institutional struggles.
was against Thomas and Dutch Row, and 13 not gloom, corrective nudge by force, racial shock, molecular quick resistance in the future are uh, being systematically destroyed. Neoliberalism remains moot by claiming that there are simply no uh, alternatives to the system. There are so much deaf critiques of Sonny are useless, and that reinforces to some extent this line of argument is compinctuous with the very problems it refuses to acknowledge. Liberals detest such criticism because they call it the question of the totality of the American politics rather than focus on one uh, issue, gestures towards radical restructuring of the American society rather than reforms. The enemy is not a market economy, but a market society. Breakdowns of all forms, social thought, and informs democratic politics and cultural political political institutions that uh, make it possible to return us mid. This rude organized struggle recognition, there is always some alternative bid. This educational intervention who wars to be fought for is the current liberal jive determination to produce notions that concepts that reinforce the idea. There is no way to think beyond the current system. Intellectuals, workers, and uh, young people, artists, and others need to develop a new life capital about how to think about the meaning of politics. Human uh, agency, the building, the form, and the culture through which organized collective struggles can develop in an effort to imagine a new and democratic future. And only the uh, affirmative can solve warming by not forsaking institutional reform. That's accuracy in 04. Uh, draw attention to the positive goals, states, and fair and global economic affairs. Given the state is here to stay, whether we like it or not, then called beyond the state. The uh, despair rejecting the state's frame of politics ought to not prohibit an ingrained massive drive potential of the state is a crucial note. The global ecological performance uh, states versus the major states for the power for the future that any green transformation will necessarily be state dependent. Like it or not, these concern about ecological destruction must uh, contend with existing institutions. It would be unhelpful to become singularly fixated on the redesign of the state. The political power concentrated in the state is pervasive. Together, it constitutes an indispensable medium for shaping larger social order. State activity has a significant bearing on global process. It is difficult to imagine how changes might occur on the scale immediately without the support of the states. It seems inconceivable to advance ecological uh, emancipation without engaging with that of state power. Three seconds. Let's go into the process. Cool. Wait, before we start, I'm colorblind, so the blue text I can't read on the white or I can't see what you read. Can you use verbatim to make it green? Do you have verbatim? Pardon? Do you have verbatim? I do have verbatim. Yes, Can sir. you make this stuff green? Because I can't read the blue text. Make all the stuff green. No, like the blue the blue highlighting. Yeah, make make green. all the blue highlight green. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. That's no problem. We can start CX, but I can't read what parts of the card you read. So Yeah, yeah, my apologies. I can certainly do that for you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, change it to green. We can start with your Yeah, go ahead. All right. That. What is your advocacy? My advocacy is that you affirm the resolution in, as a starting point for reconfiguring. Do you advocacy. defend topical version of the resolution? Like I you do defend do. the resolution. I so do defend the resolution. You defend the effects of your advocacy. I affirm the resolution. I defend the effects of the advocacy. Okay, it's so if I prove that audience. implementing a living wage is a bad form, for example, of rejecting capitalism, then that turns your case. I mean, you're not going to win that because I definitely know that any. Obviously, we can have that debate. Yeah, but we're going to have that debate, but I'm telling you right now, you're not going to win it. Okay, Reform you don't just defend. The answer. Okay, so your <laughs> argument is not just defending like a rejection of capitalism as some type of like uh, your speech act or voting. Yeah, or of like course, that. it's more nuanced than rejecting capitalism. It's, it's not really just done. vote for your speech act. You will defend implementation. We can have a debate about it. I mean, there is a pre-fiat implication of the YC as well as a post-fiat implication. Wait, so is the pre-fiat implication in terms of just endorsing your speech act or a question of the judge's obligation to reject like oppression and capitalism? You know, you're not too far off, but you're still off because... Well, I'm asking yeah, you a yeah, question. I'm you're not giving to me answer an answer. The question. Okay, you just I would prefer not the trick. So, so please, please let answer. me answer the question and don't cut me off. Gladly. As I was saying, you sign the ballot, you vote affirmative. That then means that you endorsed our method. Our yeah. method of Obviously, so you're endorsing the apps method. To so if I prove politics. the apps method is bad, then I win. Yes, in any debate, yeah. if you prove the apps method is bad, you win. No one's up. That's like, I, okay. Thanks. Okay. So, what governments do you defend? What governments do I defend? Uh, for the purpose of this debate, the United States federal government. Just the US. The USFG. Okay. So, your arguments are about a Marxist future in which no one has to work. If only people in the U.S. are transformed and roboticized or like automated within the U.S. such that all cheap labor happens in the U.S., what happens to everyone else in every other country? So the way economies work is that they are interdependent, right? Sure. Right. So as soon as trade liberalizes, as soon as the economy is roboticized, the first piece of war still evidence makes the claim that there is sort of a spillover. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. First sentence you said is as soon market. as trade is liberalized There's and globalized, yet you critique capitalism. How is that compatible? How is that compatible? So there's two steps to this argument. The first is that mechanization happens in the market because initially they think it profits them, but that causes the collapse of the market from too much production okay. because there is You're too much You're not answering the original supply. question I asked. I am answering your question. If only the U.S. It goes automated. Up, so your words. arguments okay. with him cool. are when a government goes automated, it means that labor or like products are cheap such that people don't have to work. If that only happens in the United States, what about every other government such that there is not enough surplus for just U.S. Saying, products to go to other countries? As I was saying, so the people not having to work doesn't occur because of too much supply. The market collapses because there's too high of a supply. Okay. So prices are screwed up. Where do the, the robots USFG come from? is dependent. Um, let, me, let me finish this. Ad, no, it's a different question. question. It's fine. Or where do robots come from? Okay, where do robots come from? Yeah. Um, robots are beings beyond our understanding, but they are no different from us necessarily. They're not inferior, and we acknowledge that. Robots come from... 
That, that doesn't answer the question. Okay, mm -hmm. you want me to continue answering your question? I could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. So our argument is that initially robots emerge from human innovation. However, they yes. then take on their own intelligence and they become their own beings that are beyond, I guess, our understanding. It's fine. No prep. Order is two off AC, I'll flush it. Actually, three off AC. The affirmative dreams of a technological future where human labor is replaced by robotic labor, advancing what technologies produce paradise on earth, but the affirmative has left out an important detail where technology comes from. The neg negative challenges and affirmative fantastical vision, while their goals are noble, the vision is written from the perspective of wealthy first class into first world intellectuals, ignoring their intellectual paradise is built upon the backs of hidden laborers, hyper exploited and dehumanized. The transhumanist dream ignores the physical reality of labor. That's HS 13. Transhumanists support the physical reality of machines and labor that produces them, liberation, social technology, structure, contingent, on dehumanization, arguing for living wage, and the people support communism, predicate, and ignoring the processes that produce workers' means of production, the bare life of the assembly line worker, making their iPhones, and workers' integration with their machines, mark them off with liberation, but crippling poverty, lack of income, or personal security, and complete alienation from the symbolic spaces that labor produces. The aspiration of a technological Marxist paradise is based upon the narrow experience of the first world consumer. They ignore the massive exploitation and the violence that directly caused by, caused by their theory and turns case by giving power in the hands of capitalist elites. HS2. Blindness ignores the value producing nature of racialized gender domestic work. We see the relation between very life quality life and the source of value privilege through attention from middle, from middle class anti capitalists by seeing values produced through the work of those plugging into the internet, cast workers, who exclude populations as irrelevant. The industrial workers producing the very digital devices needed for co production exist entirely as exclude bare life. Those sites of production ignored by theorists of labor are states of exception. Workers are reduced to bare life. Capitalism is dependent and continues to depend on an uneven population and an uneven geographical development. Theorists and caste labor is universal and homogenous with enormous blind spot hovering over our super exploited positions of the proletariat. The altists who understand amply capitalist revolution will account for particularities and identity and social construction that frame our theories. This solves HS3. The manifestations of control apply differently based on specific conditions. I argue for a specific understanding of roles against cap based identity and positionality will serve as starting point for future conversations. The role of the judges be a critical educator concerned with testimony of fundamental assumptions of the one I see this question of whether or not the app scholarship is good or not the passage of the plants and fiat is illusory. Prefer one, the judge should create the knowledge claims of the one I see since that's a jumping off point for the debate that puts too big of a burden on the neg. When a student turns into F paper, the teacher doesn't have a reasonable burden to write an entirely new paper just to show it was bad, pointing out its major academic deficiencies to be sufficient to vote neg. Second, the app call to action is premised by the prior question of that we as subjects are presented in debate, representations precede policy discussion. Crawford. Actors accomplish their answer problem that features reality, certain features to emphasize and others to emphasize their situation becomes their frame and dominant representation of the limits of targeting to be considered legitimate, possibly practice, presupposed, but in nature to imagine. Course of action represents whether frames articulate, ac uh, articulate accurate perceptions, misses the frames how, misses the how frames affect what is seen in subsequent choices. Third, voting out guarantees error replication, cheesement. Offering policymakers and alternative solutions is the problem that all others must accept the wisdom or remain outside the expert domain, but precisely the official needs to be problematized. The critical response to the demand for policy by addressing this image, endorsing before engaging policy and creating to refrain from basic terms of reference. Critical analysis shows the theoretical presumption effectively assumed by the layers of political analysis which reject implication of policymakers. Next off. Living wage is a tool used to price black labor out of the market. This was the historical <coughs> intent behind the policy and the effect that happens every time wages are raised. Williams 13. The high school worker is not stupid to convince people that, and will, do, uh, will first convince people that low school workers are being exploited and not earning a living wage. The minimum wage is one of the most effective tools of racism everywhere. It's in fact, it's cut off the bottom amongst the ladder for the most disadvantaged and lower the cost of discrimination. We cannot trust the ass motors. The plan is rooted in the same eugenic ideology of the 20th century, hidden in more insidious forms, even if the ass intentions seem compassionate. Caden and Horowitz 11. The virtue of the minimum wage was that increased the dignity of white labor while separating unfortunates from jobs. Minimum wages were supported by the explicit racists, seeking explicitly racist ends. Fast forward a few decades, and the results are the same. The law caused young African Americans more jobs in the recession. This is a prior question. Racism must be rejected in every instance. Memi 2K. One cannot be indulgent toward racism to give it full hope means to diminish whether this union in the racist universe is violence. The actor will always be a possible victim. Racism limits the human condition. We cannot fail, fail to grasp the racist challenge. Next off. 
Minimum wage increases through outsourcing to cheaper countries with lower pay and worse regulations, all in 14. Increase in the minimum wage result in more business and outsourcing. The U.S. lost the very job opportunities to a call for higher skills sector economy as it shifted its manufacturing core to meet with third world countries' wages for less than $4 an hour. Outsourcing deals neoliberal policies to perpetuate a cycle of poverty worse than the Great Depression. Coal. These oppressive structures of mass unemployment create never widening circle of poverty. Corporations have outsourcing millions of better jobs conditions to save the Great Depression. Outsourcing these neoliberal policies, global imperialism, and violence sets a capitalist fire, making the entire world its tinder. Smith 10. Outsourcing pioneered the use of international money markets to handle global operations. Outsourcing given the major support to profit and imperialist countries' capital flows from the low wage to industrialized countries' support from industrialized countries. Case. Uh, start in the top. First advantage. Their own arguments concede the AF causes unemployment. That's probably pretty bad. First, robots will not spur a revolution. They solidify power in the hands of elites and ensure the poor remain helpless. Becker, 14. The world's struggling nations that depend on jobs face tough situations. Automation spreads. Hundreds of millions of workers lose their jobs. We'll hear of a future in which robots handle most of the labor target. Think that most people picture it in the way it seems. To, uh, they picture it in the way that things seem to be heading. Prosperity has not been shared. Many of the world's poor will end up scrambling to make ends meet. Poverty is the worst most structural violence outweighs. Case Abu Jamal. The deadliest one balance is poverty with limited nation of condone structural balance with breathtaking rhythms. This many people die because of poverty be killed in the nuclear war because of much of that balance became internalized because of those who own nothing are trying to live themselves. Do not let them have this discussion with abstract root cause framing about capitalism. Obviously, poverty is an important impact independently of overarching theories. Curry. The gap between what is actually most represented by debates and what is discussion about oppression and solutions, what we're seeking to resolve in the basis of thought is irrelevant to the actual problems or theories. Seek to address, we cannot suggest that such problems, which are constantly emerging beyond the effects of the server to by anyone ideological frame, be it Marxism or the like. Additionally, uh, the both of this outweighs your arguments. Both of your uh, both of your claims are from a blog. You just cut this off of Tomasi's uh, wiki. The arguments are from communist hacks who want to have type of overthrow. They are not uh, specifically empirics in the context. Robots will not actually happen. More empirics prove they cannot replace humans. Technology is not available yet. Kaufman, fourteen. The New York Times debunks a classic argument against raising pay for low-wage workers. Robots are not going to replace humans. Robots are still decades away from the versatility a human worker can offer you a person. Because the required flexibility is still decades away getting from our computers. Third, turn. Robots solidify power in the hands of those who can afford them. The rich get to move away from capitalism while the poor cannot afford the technology or permanently subjugated even more. This is the reason uh, why the rich don't have to work and their jobs are taken over and they can just sit back at home and not have to uh, do anything and they can just sit on their couches while robots are doing their jobs for the poor uh, who are making those robots in the first place. The people uh, who are not relying, who are not have the technology so the robots cannot replace their jobs. You're still stuck in a cycle of poverty uh, and oppression which allows capitalism to thrive by separating uh, the wealthy and the poor which just recreates the problems of the 1AC. Also, the absolute attachment to wage laborers and method proving conditions for workers is justification for our capitalism means I outweigh on uh, time frame. Wolf. It strikes people's next reproduction for organized under wage fast book continuous so says economics without wages not doing just local one no collective work systems and these wages naturalizing the wage concept works naturalized capitalization of production some intrinsic direction self doesn't make happier is necessary internal also means the app never solves anything wages make cap appear necessary so the alternative a revolution won't actually bring about an end to cap because people uh, will want to keep cap in place. Now, uh, the role of alphabet. On the marks use, I have a minute. Uh, one, this is unverifiable. We don't know who's been corrupted by caps, so it's impossible to evaluate. You don't have the uh, jurisdiction to vote in this argument. Do not evaluate it. Second, even if, if their authors do not fall into this trap, also, then neither do mine. Everyone in my critiques are talking about the way the best way uh, to escape capitalism. Third, this is obviously just blatantly false. Just because you have some basic goals like capitalism dictates does not mean our entire perspectives are entrenched in cap. Cap might mean that some people are self interested, most people still feel compassion towards others and empirically denies your argument. Now, in the environment arguments, one, this means uh, refer to the critique alternative. His method rejecting cap requires factories to produce the technology where mines particular each pl a place of particular infrastructure, the factories, uh, or the root cause of environmental degradation, not capitalism itself. Two, tech, the type of technological revolution with clean tech is just not there yet. You are an author. It doesn't say rejecting cap solve. It says we need to help the environment. You don't uh, change the technological infrastructure just by passing a living wage. You don't solve anything now. On Jujic and Dolly, one that's supposed to higher standard, all my arguments are guilty. Sure, capitalism is bad, but the second standard rejecting cap is built in a way that creates more racism and inequality. Second, my offense outweighs when you deprive people's material conditions to live and make people invisible where they literally cannot be alive. Jujic is talking about just an arch, arch, uh, overarching structure which does not affect people uh, as much. Also, links back to your arguments. If your method is bad, you should reject him. I clearly have a better method for solving the problem, which means you should vote next. Let's talk about this critique. I want to know what about your alternative helps investigate the question of what a machine is and where a machine comes from. Um, I'm not sure, like, what because you're you at. identify that you identify it as problematic that I don't investigate what a machine is or where a machine comes from. What does the alternative do? So I think you're misunderstanding. The argument well, is do that you character, do characterize. Yeah. Okay. So the argument is when you frame the solution to capitalism as some type of robotic automated revolution. You ignore where those machines come from, the types of conditions sure. to prove them. How that does the create alt solve them, back the for this? People in factories. Excuse what? me. How does the alt solve back for this? What does your alternative do? What does the alternative is a critical interrogation, revolution? similar to the way the one okay. AC approaches it, that, that allows me. for the possibility. Excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. Your HS evidence talks about understanding the revolution. It appears in the card to discuss a process by which we understand, by which we deconstruct the system. I want to know what exact political process the alternative would do to solve the system. So the entire point of the alternative is that it changes based on location. For example, what yes. do you do? So, uh, like, 
there are political strategies, things like uh, having more automation, for example, but not using it within the context that doesn't recognize that the way we create those technologies okay, is within the factories that reduce people to bare Is there life. a specific policy that uh, you defend? One specific policy, like a text, for example. So I defend the tax of the alternative. There are a lot of policies that would result from doing the All alternative. Right. Why the is entire this? point sure. of the alternative is there is no one overarching policy. There is no policy. Because saying that there is the one policy on. that can help on. everyone is what leads Hang people on. to be subjugated. Excuse me. The HS evidence seems to only talk about a process by which we understand the system, meaning we understand that we are screwed. I don't understand how deconstructive analysis leads to a specific procedure. That's what not you just at all what the evidence spent. indicates. Go ahead and point me a line that talks about a specific policy. These are like three sentences. The that evidence, talk about the last sentence of the card system. says this is the key starting point for future yes, analysis. Yes, I know it says this is a starting point, but what the is entire your point you just talk what? about understanding the status quo? It seems to me that your alt is the status quo. What do you do? So, no, okay, there's a few parts of the question, so I'm going to answer them separately. Okay, right, sure. so first, it's not a question of specific one policy that helps everyone, because the entire point of the critique then is a capitalist or an anti-capitalist policy that could help everyone. It ignores really the material nebulous. conditions what between people. What do you do? What? Oh my goodness. So we could okay. pass policies that reject this, things like wages and capitalism and race, parts okay. of the alternative. Excuse me. Okay. The race critique. Sure. I want to know what about, I guess, or what about, what would you do? to solve for racism in the status quo. Not pass a living wage. There is so, obviously so racism. I say so, you exacerbate so, it. So, excuse me, is the argument then that the status quo is preferable to the affirmative? The argument is the living wage is really bad and makes the problem worse. And it's like, cool. not doing a living wage is better. But I'll I defend the alternative. I don't defend the status Four quo. Four minutes. Four minutes. Oh, what's the status of the alternative? Unconditional. Unconditional.
Pieces. The order is going to be AC, critique, race to sad, then the minimum win to sad. We're on the AC. Hmm? We're on the AC. We're on the AC, um, the impact level, I suppose. Okay. Already spotted a damning concession after he just the first constructive. He's conceived that global warming now rises from capitalism that <coughs> uh, caused extinction. Our part of it indicates that it caused us to be the planet of Zay. Uh, Zen was survey planet to be tweaked and fixed according to our needs. That caused us to view the uh, planet as a means to an end that we can fix, but that will cause biodiversity loss, which will cause the extinction from a shortened depletion of resources. This would also cause uh, nation states to backlash against one another, causing the extinction, which outweighs any of uh, this impacts because you can't have a bad life. We're all dead now. Go on to the critique. Over to the critique. He's conceded the thesis of Marcos. Their solvency and impact claims are not true. The capitalism co ops their predictions by glossing over uh, their view. It causes us to view everything in terms of profits. It means that you uh, sign his impact claims and his alt solvency claims a 0% uh, percent risk of uh, probability. Second is Zizek and Daily Thesis goes conceded. Capitalism causes us to view people as a means to, and then we look at them in terms of material uh, value and remove them of their agency. This outweighs because there's no point in living in the world, or th this, this means that there's no point in living in the world without value. They uh, also that we do not accept, now the first link, we do not exclude the perspective of the marginalized are uh, institutional analysis reforms the state. The state is at the heart of their oppression because they govern collaboration with governments to screw the marginalized. Their perspective would likely uh, reflect a disdain towards oppressive governments and uh, permutation to both use the institutional reform and specific wage policy of the one I see in addition to their methodology in order to solve back. Their link is a linkable mission, a double solvency, is a net benefit to our permutation extended rule that allows to reconfigure capitalism and reintegrate it. Their alternative does not meet this. Their world about sucks because it's still deconstructive analysis. It only has us uh, reanalyze and analyze the steps quo, but they essentially reaform the steps quo. Our world about restructures it. Our specific term links zero in the case that we would confirm institutional analysis, we would be able to use the state, for example, uh, stopping things like subsidies that uh, benefit large corporations, like oil corporations that are causing the need that will drive for resources, or just the act of the wage gap, the, the, the wage gap, it's, uh, the, the, the wage control itself, which would allow us to uh, collapse capitalism. But I will get onto that on the uh, disadvantage. Now, to answer his uh, his arguments about machines, artificial life is never, it's only a question about our response to it. That's Lee Vernoid, more of a uh, uh, foreshadowed temple future where the artificial intelligence from life exhausted sounds to be the big question, men's ultimate response to the sounds they've created. The, uh, Serious has been dogged by questions of humanity's relationship with the uh, silence and this ensures artificial life will unsafe humanity. That's Abrams so, you know, and the tension between humanity and silence means our oncoming relationship with artificial beings. When these beings arrive, there is no question problems will emerge, such as avoidable if we uh, look upon post humans as uh, not as tools, but as children of humanity. We should follow the silence for abuse with the memory created never use virus and this will avoid valid code vision, but uh, equally subvert slavery. There's this virus and also where I fail to do so only pretty solve problems now. Uh, faced by Galactica, the only post founder now will post the shape of things uh, to come. Means we get the this means we get the benefits of artificial life with the affirmative, which solves all scarcity based impacts. That's Wang and Go Five. The major population still probably lack of most fundamental problems will include uh, water medical care, still a great power of war, and in rapid devastation, like now technology abundance creates a uh, creates a carries mental energy lag freezes out. This will offer a historically never expanded option to undergo a paradigm shift to a totally new social scientific system. The civilization is a fundamental survival mode, not change since the advent of the human. It's the uh, root for all wars and battle destruction sees the opportunity to propel the state of being and a is the interpretation. The uh, negative must specify a specific political process or a series of specific political acts that would occur in the world of the alternative B violation. They do not do this. Uh, but C is the standard. Number 
and one is strategy skew. They can shift the alternative and use purposely nebulous philosophical language so that they can change <laughs> their answers so that they can know uh, like out of all my responses to the alternative. Second is that this incentivizes poor uh, research practices because we're not able to research a coherent answer or strategy to the alternative because we have no idea uh, what it means. Third is that, uh, third, third is that you prefer us. I have three minutes to respond to six minutes. means you should air uh, affirmative on theory. And also it's about an issue recently reject the uh, uh, debater so that we can set a precedent. Uh, let's just prove that theory does set a precedent. No RBIs, they cause substance crowd on and default to a model of competing interpretations. Now, the race disadvantage. Going for one argument here, he's conceded that robots collapse capitalism. Flowers and Lohmann and Lopez says that they will collapse the market in the short term with overproduction and bring capitalism to a halt. This means that capitalism is collapsing in the short term. He can control terminal unions. He's also conceded the state is inevitable. That is our uh, accuracy evidence that uh, says that you can never get rid of the state. It's utopian to imagine getting rid of the state. The outsourcing disad. My internal links that way. We collapse the market in the short term immediately by eliminating prices and by creating an infant supply for everyone, not just the bourgeoisie. Thank you, Brett. Dude, your, your, your card about artificial life being inevitable is talking about a sci-fi book. Uh, no, that's a mischaracterization of the evidence. I'm reading the line. Uh, yeah, you're reading the card wrong. It talks about Cylons as an example. It literally looks at, for example, Battlestar Galactica, but it says the that, that will be the has reality. Been, dude, there's no warrant for why it's inevitable. There the is only a warrant. warrant is a book. There is a warrant. <laughs> you're, you're wrong. That's not and a what's the no. warrant? The card says, you, you read, first of all, you mischaracterized the evidence. The card says that what happened in Battlestar Galactica will become our reality. Machines come. It's simply a question of how Absolutely we Absolutely not what you lined up. So that <laughs> is what the card says. Let, hang on, let me pull it up for you. It seems that some of us can't understand basic English. <laughs> let me pull it up. Totally uh, yeah, but I think you should read my card. Let's see, Lieber, Moravec foreshadows a future, inevitable future, where artificial life forms life. The existence of the Cylons That's immediately fun. begs the question. Yeah. Making a prediction about life. Then the card after that talks about Battlestar Galactica as an analogy. Dude, what's the like? Why do I not also get this? 
Um, okay, so the argument that it's making is that it's a question of how you approach machines. If you view them as hostile and something that is an other, then that's problematic. They'll only act hostile if we're hostile to them. Okay. Order is critique. And then, actually, sorry, it's going to be uh, AC, race K, T. Sorry, we never view, you can just pull up the top of like they just see where I start there. Cool. The one AR put us all of his eggs in the capitalist uh, basket for him to win the round. He has to either win theory or win the absolvency. He's definitely not winning the latter, uh, as he's conceded terminal defense to why robots are not going to come. Uh, and his only offense is from a sci fi book, The Proof Link. Uh, this offense is not inevitable. Even if he wins the offense back to the critique, that's not actually offense for him because he has to win offense. Uh, why the app challenges cap by eternal defense uh, and prove that he's a bad method for challenging capitalism. The central question to your ballot uh, is one of time frame. Even if the app does challenge capitalism, it does not do so uh, in a proper way and in the mean term or in the uh, short term. Uh, while it might be challenging capitalism, it's creating way worse harms uh, that he has not addressed his all. His only response to why uh, it creates other problems is capitalism solves those, but it completely ignores uh, the other problems. These things are a side concern of rejecting capitalism because we can always uh, reject cap in other ways and fix the problems in other ways. But if your uh, method for doing so recreates racist conditions, uh, that cause some people to be suffering. That's obviously a reason your method is a bad one and you should reject it. That means uh, all I have to do is beat back your role about your interpretation uh, that you read off the critique and I automatically win the round. Let's start in the AC flow. First, extend the Becker and Kaufman arguments. These are statistics showing that robots uh, are not coming in the status quo. These also outweigh your arguments you read on the critique because that's from uh, A point. Is that from a sci fi book, which means uh, it's not as good as clearly not about the real world. Also, B point uh, is just one crazy author uh, or a hack saying that this might happen. He doesn't cite uh, statistics or anything in the world about why this would actually happen. There's no warrants, even if there were to be one. Uh, you did not line it up or read it, which means you give it literally no credence. Don't call for the evidence uh, when he didn't read the warranty in his speech. That means uh, you automatically put a Becker and Kaufman takes out his arguments you read on the critique and also. Uh, proves that the app does not lead to automation because jobs uh, will not be automated, which means the app does not lead to a robot revolution and the app does not challenge capitalism uh, in any way. That means the easiest place for you to sign your ballot uh, is the turn that I read on Wolf, which says that the living wage uh, and wages are always capitalist, even uh, if this argument is not entirely linked to the app. It is cold conceded, which means the app is capitalist. The point uh, when he does not solve anything and the app is more capitalist, you can sign your ballot uh, if you think that capitalism is bad independently of everything else on the flow. Now, race critique. Even if you don't want to vote for capitalism bad, because I know a couple of you uh, think that capitalism is pretty good, there is an easy way for you to vote uh, negative. The Williams evidence goes cold conceded that the short-term living wage uh, uniquely is a tool to price black labor out of the market. It exploits workers and causes racist conditions. This is it independent of whether or not the app somehow causes some type of collapse uh, in the short term from the market? Because the first people uh, who lose their jobs as a result of the living wage are the black workers, the people uh, the so-called no one wants to hire according uh, to the motivations for hiring the living wage in the first place. It means independently uh, whether or not your app challenges capitalism. The method for doing so uh, is uniquely bad. You can see the analysis as to why a side concern in rejecting capitalism is not creating more inequality. That's many uh, that I read on the critique. It's a side concern. You should always uh, reject racism, especially when there are other ways to reject cap. And the app policy uh, is even more cap. His uh, only response is that he solves capitalism in the market in the short term. But that's completely uh, a mischaracterization of his own evidence that he read off the app. It's too bad uh, he's in policy and doesn't do topical prep. His arguments uh, do not say what they think he does. His flowers arguments from Morley Lopez uh, say that 80% of people people within a specific type of job might become automated. They don't say uh, that all automation will happen, and none of his cards say uh, there is a short-term market collapse, which means there's no chance that the app actually uh, leads to a market collapse. He put five seconds uh, on the critique and did that, which is the reason you should vote negative. Now, critique. First, start on the roll the ballot, uh, the interpretation argument. Counterinterpretation critique alternatives made from alternative is that is not a policy action only if the alternatives the same function as what's being criticized. For example, a critique of the word must advocate a different word or critique of a representation must advocate a different representation. I uh, mean, my critique is a different correct, uh, critique of your representation of ignoring the way the technology comes from. It's not a critique of your policy uh, or a living wage, but your transhumanist representation. The alternative is a different representation. The A point uh, is the reason to refer made to my, your interpretation makes it really impossible to negative criticize assumptions of the app. Not policy links to the app obviously require non policy ultimate making impossible to read critiques. There's a few impacts. One, it's coordinate 
that a uh, reps are a major part of the debate. They frame their speech in a particular way. I should be able to criticize it, and they should have to defend. They cannot just cherry pick what parts of the world they defend. B points. They already have to choose their advocacy and have evident uh, pre round crap. Their debate is way too in their favor. They also also have to uh, justify their assumptions. Second is key education. Their interp uh, a their interp includes the judge's ability to reject the founded hate speech, which proliferates hurtful and offensive practices. Because obviously, uh, I would have a policy alternative to those. That's also key to promoting inclusion. Uh, participation is a prerequisite to fairness that assumes participation. I think the activity B cross applied. Uh, my argument with this Crawford about why representations preclude policy making examining assumptions is a prerequisite to effective policies that affects why policymakers interact and the underlying assumptions behind and the motivations behind the policies they adopt also uh, turns your real world making as decision making arguments and this ignores the crucial aspect of real world decision making. Now on the line by line, uh, your A point is strats you it's a CX obviously solves I'm not shifting out of it. Uh, I'm defending the exact text of it just because it's not a policy does not mean uh, I don't have a stable alternative. I'm defending exactly what I said it was. You just uh, don't want to engage in this debate. Then you say it's poor research and scientists, uh, but you were doing the wrong kind of research. This presumes that policy making research is inherently better uh, than research about representations. You are just uh, linking yourself back to the critique by ignoring the issue and saying uh, that you're not mad at your C points about time skew. This is uh, obviously unwarranted. You should also uh, give me credence that just because you have a little bit of a disadvantage from my uh, three to ones or like a little bit of a 7% time skew does not mean uh, you should not evaluate my arguments. I'm obviously crushing him uh, on the theory debate, which is the reason you should vote negative. Also, even uh, 